you take an ordinary piece of wood and boil it in a solution of caustic soda and sodium sulfide. If this sounds familiar, it's because it's practically the same process used to make paper. But here, instead of turning the wood into pulp, we're purifying it. This chemical treatment does something fascinating. It selectively removes the lignin and much of the hemicellulose, leaving behind a nearly pure cellulose structure. The result is a whitish, more porous wood that appears even more brittle than the original. Then comes the second step, that chemically treated wood is placed in a press. But it's not just any press. Enormous pressure is applied while it is gently heated to about 100 degrees Celsius. What happens then? The cell walls, weakened by the chemical treatment, begin to collapse under that immense pressure. But instead of destroying the structure, something incredible happens. The cellulose nanofibers compact and form new chemical bonds between them. It's as if millions of microscopic wires intertwine and fuse, creating a network of a density and strength that nature had never achieved on its own. When that process is complete and you remove the sample from the press, what you have in your hands is no longer wood. It's super wood.